<laughs> Y'all know I tell just always something when I go into the store. I don't know why. I don't know why. So I went in the Family Dollar huh, just recently. And so I got my mask on. I'm just going in there briefly to pick up something. This man behind the counter, I walk up. Y'all know I got my eyes did up on this particular day. And he say, well, hello. Y'all, I couldn't help but laugh under that mask. That's why I tell y'all that it's always something with Karen. That's why it's Karen Chronicles. So he say, you need your stuff bag, beautiful? Well, bro, what you think I'm carrying in my hands? Then he proceeds to say, you make sure you come back and visit us now. <laughs> yeah, I told y'all. Just stay tuned. What up, what up, what up, what up, Karen Chronicle crew? Y'all know we back. I miss y'all. I hope y'all miss me too. And y'all know if I'm coming, I got a story to tell y'all. It's, it's, it's a funny one too. Listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you something. I can't wait till I hit that thousand subscribers. And what is it? 4,000 or 5,000 watch hours. So I can just go live and talk to y'all. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. But I'm going to be patient. Let things work out as they come. I just need to tell y'all men out there. Just don't never underestimate a woman. Y'all don't know what we may know. So let me tell y'all something. First of all. Yesterday, I was going to record, but I was tired, beat down, beat down, but I had to come tell y'all that. So yesterday, chilling in the crib, and we went out briefly, and so my sister had asked me, um, she needed some brake fluid in her car, and she might have needed some, um, I think it was probably steering fluid, so she asked me to put it in there. So those that know me and my sister, I'm usually the the crafty one that looks up stuff always want to know how stuff works uh technology all that that's all me and we very inquisitive i think we got that from my daddy but my daddy he taught us a little bit of stuff well basic things that a woman should know you know what i'm saying so i said all right i'm gonna put it in for you sis because normally her trucks be real real high she can't reach it and i'm the tall one but I said, I'm going to put it in for you, sis, before you go to work. So, mind y'all, I was lounging all day after I came back from getting my eyebrows done. It's been a long time. And I treaded out there. My tech said, wear your mask. So, I wore my mask. So, when my sister goes um, to sleep, the whole day go past. I was chillaxing. And before she went to work, I went to go put her fluids in the car. So, as I go put the fluids in the car... I realized that she needs some antifreeze, right? Now, as I'm telling y'all this story, why is he creeping? I was trying to say that you're hungry. Like, bro, you just came home and you just ate some pizza. Why? So you gonna get out of here while I'm recording all? Before I was rudely interrupted. So, I see that she needs some antifreeze. So, I said, Lord, I'm going to go ahead and go to the store. My sister needs some antifreeze. Because I don't want her car running hot, right? So, mind y'all, because I was chillaxing in the house, I had on this uh, tight-looking tank top, some capri shorts, and these busted-up clogs I always wear. I ain't had no intentions on going nowhere, but... My sister needed this antifreeze. So what I do, I tell my nephew, come on out here, get your mama debit card, and I'm going to send you on in the store with the manual so you can tell him what you need. Y'all, this then turned into a whole nother ball game. So we drive. Mind you, the store is probably about two minutes away from my house, driving time. Pull up. He go in the store. Y'all, now, I told y'all what I had on, so I'm looking kind of crazy. Head tied up. I ain't had no tensions on going on the store. I expected my nephew to go in the store and get what he needed. Y'all tell me why the man come out from all those other And I'm like, why is he coming out here? So he asking me these questions. Ma'am, do you have registration? 
Because you know, for real, for real, the books to the car sometimes ain't even the exact book for your car. And I want to make sure we get the right stuff. I'm like, and he had to be cute. And I'm out here looking crazy. But okay, I give him the registration. He go back in. My nephew come back out again. What is it? He said, well, he asked me, do I want the organic one? Mind y'all, I just had this conversation with the man. I said, give me the best brand if the organic is real, real high and the other one is sufficient according to her, her vehicle. Yeah, go ahead and give me that one. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all probably thinking, antifreeze is antifreeze. Listen, I don't want no problems. When I looked at my sister's book and we was looking because we was trying to check a little light that was on her car, I wound up seeing uh, a different type of brake fluid that was needed for her car. So I'm like, what? You supposed to check this stuff? So here, no there. Yeah, so that's why I started looking about other fluids, right? So back to the store. So my nephew go back in and tell the man, and so, my y'all, the house, the store is probably about one to two minutes from my house drive time. So, the car is not hot. I know not to put in no dang on antifreeze as the car been running a long, long time. Okay. So, I'm fine. The car ain't that hot. So, y'all hop out the car. My y'all, I don't feel like I'm dressed appropriate. My shirt is too tight. It looks crazy. I got these shorts on, these big clogs. I ain't trying to see nobody. Everybody that went in the store. So I popped the hood. I got the antifreeze. My nephew, he's sitting in the car. I'm like, you should be doing this. So as soon as I popped the hood and I hear, hey, 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 hey. Y'all, let me tell y'all my heart. started pounding i'm like whoa 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 wait a minute the guy like yeah you know you shouldn't open that right if the car hot how long how long the car been running so as i'm trying to get my nerves together to talk i hear another man say you're dropping it you're dropping it somebody coming from behind me i'm like whoa y'all are doing too much i said hey it's fine i don't even live that far i probably been sitting here longer than it took me to drive over here the car is not that hot. I said, my daddy taught me well. This man go tell me, y'all. Well, the military taught me medic well. Huh? Who, who you talking to? Listen, I got this. So as I'm doing that, the man that he said, whoa, you about to drop it. He coming up on the side of me because the antifreeze, when I set it on the trunk, they probably alarmed me so bad. Then I almost knocked it on the ground. Thank God it won't have to open. So he picks it up and sit it down. Y'all, in my mind, thinking like, where are all these people coming from? Now I'm out here, y'all looking crazy. This tank top is extra tight. And I got these clothes on. Like, where y'all come from? Why y'all, I ain't even trying to have nobody see me like this. This is ridiculous. Listen, guys, don't underestimate a female. I know a little something. I might not know everything about cars, but I knew a little something. Not, I know enough. Don't be putting fluid in a car. Especially when I got to take that top off to put that antifreeze in. Because if it's too hot, that jay going to pop out. You know what I'm saying? Fluid will pop out on you. And I knew that. But I can't even fault the man for trying to look out. But just don't start yelling. Y'all alarm me. Y'all scared me. I think yesterday was the day for my nerves to be going to 1,000 because my sister scared me to death too, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. So I tell her about the little incident at the store. Of course, she laughing. She like, girl, it's always something. She goes to work. She head on out. I'm sitting in the house. Mind you, my room is in the back of the room. All I hear is, eh, 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 eh. It's her car alarm. Now, any regular person will automatically think something is going wrong because they didn't hit the panic button. I know they say use that if you get an approach, you know, for the panic button to scare people. Y'all, I take off running through the house. I am gone. House ain't even that big, but I'm gone. I'm gone. I run outside. Yo, you good? Yeah, she, she like, I'm all right. 
I think she thought it was funny, but she could put on her Facebook page. Yo, my sister was straight and ready to go. Yo, I'm on plane. I need to know what was going on. Like, these people is crazy out here. I won't take no chances. Something could have been going on out here. But I had to come by and tell y'all that, like, yesterday, everybody tried to make my nerves be on 1,000. And I don't even, I don't think I struggle with anxiety. I don't, I don't think so. But yesterday, my anxiety went from like this. You yeah, guess when you alarm, you know, it can happen. People can scare y'all. But I just had to come drop in here, y'all, and holler at y'all. I ain't holler at y'all since Mother's Day. Yeah, and I just finished watching 90 Day Fiance, my show. Y'all be looking out for that commentary. Listen, listen. The people be weak at my commentary because my reaction to the show, I just be so shocked at some stuff. But I'll be back, y'all. I love y'all. Drop some comments, some likes. And y'all comments, tell me what y'all want to see. I keep hearing I need to do another makeup tutorial. I think somebody want me to just cover eyeshadow. I did my eyes just for y'all. This is an all Juvia's Place look today except for the concealer I use. But every eyeshadow part is Juvia's Place. And these lashes are classy lashes. That's my other girl lashes that I rock. But like I said, y'all like, share, and subscribe. Get your girl to 1,000 so I can go live and holler at y'all. Tell me what y'all want to see. I'm trying to get my sister up here, you know, to holler, holler, holler. And she she be she tired. She be working late. But here and on that, I love y'all. I hope y'all staying safe. Pray it up. Y'all still should be social distancing, even though stuff is open. And y'all just be careful. Love on one another. You just never know the time, the day, or the hour that you're gonna leave this earth. Appreciate those that's in your life. Love y'all. Peace out.